So we're asked to find the polynomial of degree 3 with zeros 2i and 4 such that f of 0 is equal to 1. Solution. The first thing we want to do is write down the zeros. So we're told that 4 is a 0, so we have that one. We're told that 2i is a 0, so we have that. But anytime we have a 0 that's a complex number, its conjugate must also be a 0. The next step is to write down our polynomial. So f of x is equal to a. That will be our leading coefficient. A lot of books, they use a sub n. That's fine. I just felt like using a. It turns out that every single polynomial factors as x minus a 0, so x minus 4, times x minus a 0, so x minus 2i, times x minus a 0, so x minus a negative number, so x plus 2i. The next step is to clean it up, so f of x equals a times x minus 4. And at this point, we can use a formula. If you recall, a minus bi times a plus bi. To work this out, all you do is you square the a and you square the b. So a squared plus b squared. So in this case, a is x and b is 2. So you get x squared plus 2 squared, which is 4. We're almost done. We just have to find a. Now, the only thing we haven't used in the problem is this fact here, f of 0 equals 1. So let's use it. So replace all the x's with zeros. So we get a, 0 minus 4, 0 plus 4. So we end up with negative 16a. And that should be equal to 1. Therefore, a is negative 1 over 16. So the final answer is f of x equals just plug the a back in here, so negative 1 over 16, x minus 4, x squared plus 4. And that is the final answer. That is the polynomial of degree 3 with zeros 2i4 and negative 2i, such that f of 0 is equal to 1.